A bacterial culture contains 800 bacteria initially and doubles every 90 minutes. In part A, write a function, b of t, that relates the quantity of bacteria b to the elapsed time t. We can model exponential growth and decay with the formula y equals a times b raised to the power of t over p, where a is the initial amount, b is the rate of change, p is the period, t is the elapsed time, and y is the future amount at time t. Let's create a box to store our data for this question. The initial amount of bacteria is 800. The bacteria is doubling, so the rate of change is 2. The bacteria doubles every 90 minutes, so the period is 90 minutes. Leave time as a variable and rewrite the future amount using the function notation indicated, b of t. The function is b of t equals 800 times 2 raised to the power of t over 90. Now we'll move on to part b. How many bacteria will exist in the culture after 8 hours? Rewrite the function from part A, b of t equals 800 times 2 raised to the power of t over 90. We need to make sure the units used for time match the period. Convert the elapsed time, 8 hours, to minutes so it matches the units of the period. Eight hours is equal to 480 minutes. Plug 480 minutes into the function. In 480 minutes, there will be 32,254 bacteria in the culture. In Part C, draw the graph for the first 10 hours. Bring up the function and the grid. We have a problem. The graph uses hours on the x-axis, but the function uses time in minutes. We write the period as 1.5 hours. The modified function is b of t equals 800 times 2 raised to the power of t over 1.5. Set the calculator window settings as shown and graph the function. Now we'll move on to part d. How long ago did the culture have 50 bacteria? Bring up the function in the graph. Plug in 50 for the amount of bacteria. We can solve this in two ways. One way to do this is to graph each side and find the x-coordinate at the point of intersection. Another way to do this is to use logarithms to solve for t. Graph y equals 50. The point of intersection will have a negative x value, so we need to change the window settings. Change the window settings as shown and redraw the graph. The point of intersection occurs at negative 6, 50. The answer is t equals negative 6.
There were 50 bacteria six hours ago. The logarithmic solution is provided here for those who have completed the later lessons.